guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to install Google Analytics on your Shopify store. So let's get started. First thing that we need to do is to create a Google Analytics GA4 property if it's not already created. In order to create it, we need to click uh, create property and then name our property. Choose uh, reporting time zone and currency and then click next. Uh, here we could choose our industry, our business type, and uh, then create an account. Then what I uh, suggest you to do is to go to data settings and data retention and switch the uh, drop down and choose 14 months for, for events data retention and click save. Then we go to data streams, choose web property and uh, provide our uh, uh, website URL. Uh, then we click create a stream. Here we need to click global site tag and copy our tag and go to Shopify my admin, go to theme and here click actions, choose edit code. Here I need to find theme.liquid file and paste our Google Analytics code in the head section. Then we click save, then jump back and uh, we need to go uh, more tagging settings. And here we need to list unwanted referrals. And uh, referrals domain will uh, contain uh, Shopify.com. Uh, and if you're using a Shopify Plus account, this step is required uh, for you to correctly attribute transactions. Click save. Then we need to change our checkout page to correctly uh, track our transactions. If you, you are using a Shopify Plus, we need to go actions and edit code. And, uh, you will have access to checkout.liquid file. But if you are using lower Shopify plan, then you need to go to settings and uh, here to choose checkout and accounts. Scroll below. Here is order stat status page and additional script. Then what you need to do, go to my website and copy tracking code for order confirmation page. I will link uh, the links in the description below. Paste this code and I need to replace a few variables. Here you see update and I, I need to update this piece of code. So I delete this update and this. Uh, then I uh, jump back into Google Analytics and I need my measurement ID. I copy this ID and paste it here and here. Then I can uh, save my setup and uh, right now GA4 will be start tracking your transactions. If you want to level up your e-commerce reporting, then check uh, my free uh, e-commerce data infrastructure guide in the description below and have a great day.